We come now to another of our session highlights, and this is a fascinating one. Welcome to Hans Biscard, and what we're talking about is supplementation in pregnancy to prevent asthma, which is fascinating. So just tell us first of all about the trials that you've undertaken. Yes, over the past 10 years we've done a randomized, controlled, double-blind trial in 700 pregnant women. In the third trimester we gave them fish oil and vitamin D. Fish oil was uh, given in a dose of 2.4 gram and vitamin D in a sevenfold higher dose than you normally recommend. And the two e effect we saw was that vitamin D reduced the risk of childhood asthma by 25%. Fish oil reduced the prevalence of asthma by one third. So it's very dramatic effects. And what is probably even more interesting is the fact that we can do precision prevention because we can identify the women who needs supplementation. By measuring their blood levels of, of uh, fish oil or, or polyunsaturated fatty acid, as it's called, we can see that those who have the low levels are those who are really driving the, the, the effect. And moreover, we have seen there is a genetic variant and if you combine the two, you can identify one third of the pregnant population who will have all the effect and really is driving the overall effect. And that effect is a reduction in childhood asthma by approximately 50%. That's extraordinary. But uh, why are you choosing the third trimester? Well, that's for practical reasons. We, I, I would love to, to repeat another study if... if unless I'm too old to do a 10-year trial. But the practical reasons are, uh, uh, actually the third trimester is a, is a sensible uh, it's a, it's choice a, in that session, in that uh, sense, because of course, you know, about 50% of pregnancies are not planned. Yes. So it's better to, uh, I, I guess, catch people when they already are pregnant. I would love to do a study where you, you give the fish oil before conception, but that would be difficult we would have to link up with a dating site or something. Now, you might expect people living in Denmark, which is at a northern latitude, yes. to perhaps be deficient in vitamin D, because I guess you don't get as much sunshine yes. as people closer to the equator do. Yes. But on the other hand, uh, Denmark is a country that, as I recall, eats an awful lot of fish. Yes. So you wouldn't perhaps expect your population to be one that is... Uh, lacking in those things that uh, come from fish? Well, it, uh, Denmark happens to be one of the five countries in the world who have the highest dietary intake of fish. So I would expect if we repeat the study and on other countries with a lower intake, there are many countries where you don't eat fish for religious reasons, for logistic reasons, um, India for one, um, mid-US for one, so if we repeated the study in those countries who have basically a low level of fish oil or, or these uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids, you would expect to see a much larger effect. Just like we did in our study, we saw with the high dose or high levels in the blood, there was no effect. But the lower level of blood you had before the study, the better effect you got. Well, that's absolutely fascinating. And you can listen to this uh, presentation and indeed all the presentations in that session on live at ERS+.